Other than trashing half an alien planet, did the wedding come off okay? Actually, we only trashed a restaurant, one casino, and a couple of nightclubs. That we know of. Yes John, it was a beautiful wedding. Where did they go on their honeymoon? They kind of started it right there, at the church. What? It wasn't that bad. Andy just got a little, um, enthusiastic, with the wedding kiss. Enthusiastic? It was almost pornographic. Huh? B's exaggerating. I am not. I have pictures. Don't show him that. Hey, gang. Guess what? I'll bite. What? I know how all of you have been wondering what we're going to do for Halloween. Really? Sorry. Not really. Anyway, I've got the answer. There wasn't a question. I've rented the old Silas house for our Halloween party. You mean that old house isolated way out of town? It's been abandoned for years. It's probably all dusty, all cobwebby, and I've heard it's haunted. How would it be any good for a party? What do you mean? All those things make it perfect for a Halloween party. Oh, yeah, right. Good work, Chad. Thanks. Hey girls, do you think we should bring dates? Hey, it was my idea. You have to bring us, guys. Who needs a bunch of guys, who are trying to find beds to hide under? <laughs> ha! You girls will be running to us the first time you hear a noise. Besides, there are no such things as ghosts. John, you are, no, fun. Sorry, I'll put science and logic away for Halloween. I like fun too. Are you all wondering why I invited you here today? I hope it yeah. isn't Bring out for the a beer. beer. No one invites me anywhere. You know Chad Jerome? He's that dweeb that dates the redhead member of the Amazon army. That's the one. I was in my dad's office and overheard him book the old Silas mansion for a Halloween party. So what? Are we invited? No. But it's our chance to get back at those guys in the BOD squad. Billy, wouldn't you like to get revenge on Mary Ford for beating you up that time? Billy? You got beat up by a girl. She surprised me. I was teasing Chad. She took offense and threw a hissy fit. And she threw a few punches. You got a black eye, split lip, and bloody nose. Yeah, well that little one, Mimi. Mimi the mouse. She beat him up. <laughs> he tried sparring with her. He was going to show off his boxing skills. She knocked him out with one punch. I let her win. You mean, you let her put you in the hospital? Only for one night. The concussion wasn't even that bad. And Kim, you pride yourself in being able to steal any girl's boyfriend, right? Yeah. It's sort of a hobby. In fact, I won't date any boy unless I steal him from another girl. Oh, that's the reason you've never dated me. That's not even close to the reasons I wouldn't date you. Then I guess you- What about me? I don't have any grudges with those people. What about the time you asked B. Taylor to the spring fling? What happened then? She laughed in my face. See. But not half as means when I asked Kim to the fall ball. You must mean to a dance. Yeah, don't you remember? I surely do not. <laughs> See what I mean? Yes. Her laugh is why I picked her. You. I picked because you're into all that AV computer stuff. I want to wire that house with cameras. Set up evil special effects and save everything so we can embarrass those gym jockeys to death. We'll get them crying and screaming. Maybe even wetting themselves. Then post it on every social media platform there is. They won't be able to show their faces. We can also hack it into the school CCTV system. You know play it as the morning announcements. You can do that? Sure. This is going to be great. So that's it? Yup. The old Silas mansion. It's sure as dark. Are we going to have enough light, with just flashlights? Mr. Edwards, the realtor, had his guys set up a generator. That should give us all the power we need. What are you waiting for?
This place is great. It's really spooky. It's really dirty. The maid must have had the day off. Hey, what's this? That must be Jonas Silas and his wife. He's very distinguished looking for a ghost. Yeah, but look at his wife. Oh, my God. She's beautiful. Mary, she looks just like you. Lucky girl. Yeah. Who trespasses in the master's home? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hoist the leader of you necromancers. Chad rented the place. You, boy, will lead your followers to their doom. I'll be right back. I left something in the car. No one will be allowed to leave. Alive. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud, follow me. Tonight we will do all the exploring you want. We brought snacks and soda. We will have music for dancing, and we will play some games. But, every half hour, or so, one of us will tell a ghost story. At the end of the night we will vote to see whose story is scariest. The scariest story will win a big prize. I'll start. My story is the story of Jonas Silas and this house. Jonas Silas came here in 1889, and set himself up as a blacksmith. And now I am here forever, and you will be my slaves forever. <laughs> Chad Sidney Jerome, was that a trick to make your story sound scarier? I had nothing to do with that. First, I wouldn't know how to do it. And second, I couldn't have afforded it, even if I did. Yeah, you, you, you mean it was a real ghost? There are no such things as ghosts. Okay, science guy. What is your explanation? Mass hysteria, power of suggestion, or maybe Chad is not telling the truth. Never mind all that. Chad, go on with your story. Okay, as I said, Jonas Silas came to town as a simple blacksmith. But he had a talent for making improvements to necessary products. His innovations in horseshoes, plows, harnesses, and many farming tools made him very wealthy. His factory was the major employer in the area, and turned our town into the city it is today. His many endowments to the town made him a true city father. As he was reaching middle age he decided to make time for himself. He built this mansion and married a young, beautiful wife. His wife, Catherine, was the love of his life. And, though she was much younger, she relished the role of being society matron. She held lavish parties for the elite, always collecting donations for charities. But, as farming became more mechanized Jonas's business fell into decline. He was able to live comfortably on his savings and investments, but the money was no longer available for his wife's parties. Catherine soon tired of being just the wife of a failing businessman, and started seeing a traveling tractor salesman. One day Jonas caught them together, in this very room, and took one of his best scythes and beheaded them. Their bodies were buried in the local cemetery, but their heads were never found. It is said that they roam this mansion looking for their lost heads to this very day. I'm... Yes Mimi, what is it? What's a scythe the... Well... It's an old tool for harvesting things like wheat and alfalfa. What's it look like? Don't look out. Oh my god. Wow. Yikes! What's happening? What are you doing? The boy isn't supposed to jump into the girl's arms. I was scared. My head. Where is my head? Have you seen my head? Not Not real. Robert! Find my head! There! That one with the fiery hair! She has your head! Who? Me? 
Take it from her. Bring it to me. My head. Bring me my Don't head. Don't let them take my head. This isn't some trick Chad dreamed up, is it? If it is, he scared himself into unconsciousness. Let's get the guys to well, help us. Well, Chad's out. And Norman is escaping. What? Norman get back here and protect my us, head. or you'll be sorry. Bring me my head. Do you like hot girls? They don't get any hotter than me. <laughs> Vicky, get out from under that table. Are you a chicken? No. I dropped a nickel. I've gotta find it. What a lame excuse. You're just a coward. Well, my John is an oak. We can count on him. John, give us some sciency explanation for all this. This huh? It can, it wouldn't. It couldn't, maybe, maybe not, it not, it is please stop jibber jabber. I owe me goss, maybe. Oh, even John is scared stupid. Hey! What is this thing? Some sort of board game? That looks like a Ouija board. A Ouija board? No, Ouija board. Some call it a spirit board. What does it do? Some people think you can contact spirits using that thing. Maybe we can contact Jonas Silas and make this stuff stop. How does it work? Everyone puts a finger on that pointer thingy. Just touch it lightly, don't push it. Who's going to ask the questions? Let Christy do it. Okay, Jonas Silas. Jonas Silas, are you here? Nothing is happening. Be patient, he's dead ya yeah, no. Oh my! Wow. <laughs> he is here? Jonas Silas, will you talk with us? Good. Now ask him to call off his ghost buddies. Jonas Silas, what can we do to quell your anger? Oh, look my out. What God. the fu What? <gasps> oh my god! Holy Halloween! It's too hard talking through that board. Just talk to me directly. Yikes! Are, are you the ghost of Jonas Silas? We don't need titles around here. You can call me Jonas, or Mr. Silas, if you prefer. But you were a ghost, right? Yes, I'm afraid I am. Is that a problem? Mr. Silas, we want to apologize. We didn't mean to disturb you and your, um, colleagues. You have nothing to apologize for. What makes you think I am upset? Well, for one thing, there's some ghosts around here that want to take my head. What is your name, child? Mary. You look so much like my Catherine. I did love her so. If you loved her so much, why did you cut off her head? Huh? Yeah. I did no such thing. I don't know how that urban legend got started. She and that tractor vendor ran off together. I heard they opened a franchise in Omaha. Gee, my grandmother is from Omaha. A coincidence. Maybe. Maybe not. What about the ghosts? What ghosts? The headless ones, the ones trying to get Mary's head. I thought you knew. What's that? What? No, what? They're not ghosts. Just pictures. Like at the Nickelodeon. Your friends on the balcony are making them. What friends? Here. Let me show you. Ignore the people behind the curtain. Beware of the ghost of Jonas Silas. Ignore hell. I'm going to go up there and see what's going on. Look at her go. She's pretty fast, for a girl. That's kind of sexist. What do you mean? Judging her because she's a girl. I think the proper term is misogynist. Misogy what? Misogynist. Basically it means bias against females. Um. Oh. I like sexist better. Me too. Me three? You can't be up here. Who's going to stop me? 
me. And, just how do you plan on stopping me? Like this. I'm sorry. Not nearly as sorry as you're gonna be. Help me. Oh, Pardon oh, me. Oh, you won't oh, mind oh, if I leave, oh, will you? Oh, oh, oh. Uh. You're next. You gotta catch me first. Mimi? Where are you going in such a hurry? Well, it's time for me to leave. Now get out of my way. You can't talk to her that way. Shut up dweeb, or I'll knock your block off. Moose! Why are you trying to ruin our party? Because I don't like you guys. Now, get out of my way. I'm not moving. Then I'll move you. The last time you tried that, it didn't work out so well for you, did it? I let you win before, now move, or you'll find out just what I am capable of. Give me your best shot. You asked for it. Me, you really hit him hard. Well, I was mad at him. I hope you never get mad at me. If you can play music and dance, you're safe of now. Girls certainly act differently these days. Yeah, it makes dating a contact sport. It always has been young man. <laughs> I wonder how long Mimi has been working on that trick. You should ask Norman how long he has been working on his new trick. What are you talking about? I'm gonna kill him. Norman. Bababi. Do you know Kaka Kim? Only by reputation. She's well known for her reputation. Jealous? No. Disgusted. Norman and I are just getting acquainted. Norman is my date. Is that true, Normie? You'd rather dance with B than me. E, yes, B is my girlfriend. I could be your girlfriend now. Well, Norman? Kim, maybe you should find someone else to dance with. I'm with B. Well, I never. That's a lie. Kim, goodbye. Well, he won't like you so much with your face smashed. Ah! Oh. John, could you come over here, please? Hi, John. This person says he's a friend of yours. Well, I know him. His name is Nerdy Nelson. We are both in the AV club. John, you know I don't like to be called Nerdy. My name is Bertram. Like that's better? What's going on, Nerdy? Tell her to put me down. Christy, please. Oh, okay. Okay, Bertram, tell me what's going on. Moose hired me to set up some cameras and special effects to scare you guys. He was going to show them all over. I guess that would have been embarrassing for you. Well, we've got to take it all down and erase all the hard drives. Nothing is going to be shown to anybody. But we have video of a real ghost. That doesn't matter. It all goes. You can't erase the hard drives without the passwords. You'll never been able to. Pack my security. Maybe I can get Christy to persuade you. I won't be swayed by any of her feminine wiles. Chris, show him your feminine wiles. I'll be glad to. Oh my god. And I have fists attached to the muscles. I'll start erasing those drives right now. Come on, John. Let's dance. Ah, uh, music. It has been a long time since I've heard music. Did you children bring a Victrola with you? What's a Victrola? You know, the machine that plays the records. What's a record? I think he means a vinyl. Oh. What's a vinyl? 
Whatever it is, it's marvelous. Come on, Mary, let's dance. Yes, you too. Go enjoy the party. What about you, Mr. Silas? Me? Yes. Don't you get lonely living? Oops. I mean staying in this big house all by yourself? Oh. It's not so bad. The old cemetery is not far from here. Residents from there drop in quite often. In fact, every Thursday we have a gin rummy tournament. It is the highlight of my week. Mary, let's dance. Just a sec. Mr. Silas? What is it, child? Will you teach me how to play gin rummy? You want to play cards with me? You betcha. Just a second. We need a deck of cards. Who am I going to dance with? How about me? I'm said to be one hell of a dancer.